Question two, the 2012 electricity electromagnetism paper, level one. Uh, mechanics, a lighter car mechanic uses a rechargeable torch. Contains five identical 12 volt light bulbs. The bulbs are connected to a 12 volt battery as shown in the diagram below. State the name that describes the arrangement of bulbs. It's parallel. Excuse my writing. Two, explain why bulbs connected in this way will be bright. Um, it's a little bit of a vague question. But uh, this way, what they're getting at, rather than a series connection, where they're connected one after the other, where the voltage divides up in series, in parallel, the voltage across each of them is 12 volts. So it's a maximum 12 volts across each of them. So you'll get that same current dividing. So you get more current coming through to maintain the brightness of the bulbs. But the key thing is that voltage across each is the same. Uh, the current through each bulb is 0 .03, uh, 0.30 amps. By calculating the current through the battery, calculate the total resistance of the circuit. So uh, this is going towards Ohm's law. Um, Ohm's law, we want the, the total resistance of the circuit. We rearrange Ohm's law, R equals V over I. So um, we need the total voltage, which is 12 volts, which we've got. And we need the total current. And there are five, let's just double check that, one, two, three, four, five uh, lamps each running 0.3 amps, 0 0.30 amps through. So the total current is 5 times 0 0.30. Um, 12 divided by 5 times 0.3 is 1.5, and that'll give you whatever the resistance is in ohms. Okay. Uh, C part 1, the voltage across each bulb is 12 volts. The current through each is 0 0.30 amps. Calculate the total power output of the torch, the total power output of the torch. So we, we can work out the power for each bulb. Uh, for one, that's going to be the current times the voltage, which is 12, uh, sorry, 0 0.30 times by 12. Um, what's that, 3.6 uh, watts. Um, so for five, um, we, the voltage, we could just times that by five. So power of five is five times the power of one. Um, oops, of one. The other way you can do this is to use um, the total um, the total voltage that we worked out there and the total current that we worked out there. So it's just and then 12 times um, the five times 0 0.030. Okay. Uh, part two. One of the light bulbs in the torch blows and stops working. Um, explain what effect this would have on the total brightness of the torch. Um, well, if you've got five bulbs all uh, at the same brightness, uh, one of them blows, okay, and stops working. Um, because they're in parallel, the brightness will not change for any of those. They still have 12 volts across them and, and uh, they will draw that current. Um, so the brightness should not change, okay, uh, for each of the individual bulbs. So you would have four out of five bulbs working, so you'd have one fifth less um, brightness. Okay, um, the, yeah, that's fine. In, in the real world, it might be slightly different because uh, in the real world, the more bulbs you add in parallel, um, the, the, you'll hit a point where the maximum current of the battery um, is reached and the bulbs will start getting dimmer. So if the bulbs, five here in this case, are even though they've got 12 volts across them, they're getting a bit dimmer, um, they, uh, you get rid of one and the others might brighten up a little bit. But that's not the case in this case. They all have the same brightness, the same voltage across them. Even when one blows, the voltage is still the same. Um, and the effective resistance of each light bulb operating at 12 volts is still the same. So the current will be the same, so it won't change. Okay, anyway, D, explain how the brightness of the bulbs would change if the bulbs were connected to the battery as shown below. Okay, so in this case, we've got 12 divided by 5 over each of these uh, lamps. So instead of having 12 volts across, you end up with, um, you're changing your voltage to 2 uh, point, um, whatever that is, 4. So right, 2.4, yeah, four fives make uh, 20, but that's decimal two, yep. So you end up with 2.4 volts across each. Um, the other way to look at it is um, you, uh, for any one single branch where you have 0 0.30 amps, 
uh, amps, you're, you're putting five times the resistance into a single branch. So you'll get one fifth, which means um, you'll get, when I mean, you have five all in series linked together, da, 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 you'll have one fifth of that current. So you have 0 0.06 amps, assuming the resistance of a bulb stays the same, which it probably won't, but this is just a rough indication. So um, in terms of the brightness, each of those bulbs would be one fifth as bright as they previously were. So one fifth the brightness, which is very, very dim when you're dealing with that many. And I think that's the end of the...